Hello everyone. My name is Saurabh Agarwal from Informatica Cloud Product Management Team. And today I'm going to talk about one security feature which is coming as part of our Spring 2020 release, uh, which is to support OAuth 2.0 authentication for Cloud App Integration APIs through API Manager. So let's jump in. The question arises, why do we require OAuth 2.0 authentication? Oftentimes, you don't want to provide your username and password to your API consumers because that creates insecurity. But rather, what you want to do is you want to control it by creating an OAuth client and provide the client ID and client details to the user so that they have specific permissions on the API that they are calling. So now with Spring 2020 release, you can enable OAuth authentication for managed APIs that can invoke a cloud app integration endpoint. Key things to note here is that it only supports client credentials as grant type. Uh, your cloud app integration process or the API endpoint should be using basic authentication and your cloud application integration API endpoint cannot be called directly using basic authentication. While we will do a demo here, but let me talk about the steps that you have to follow to enable this authentication. Uh, obviously, you will need to have a cloud app integration process exposed as an API, uh, which is enabled for basic authentication. You can create a managed API and then create an OAuth 2.0 client under API Manager Policies Authorization. We will see this in action in the demo. You need to save certain key information like client ID, client secret, and auth header for future use. Then you would request for access token invoking the OAuth server URL, which you will get from the OAuth client page. Then you would request for access token invoking the OAuth server URL with client credentials grant type, and then use either client ID or secret, or the auth header as a basic token. And this in turn will give you an access token as a JOT token. And then subsequently you will use the JOT token as a bearer token to invoke the API endpoint. With that said, let's jump into the demo. What you see on your screen right now is a very simple process. This process takes in an input and gives out an output, which is concatenation of hello with the input that you provided. Important thing to notice here is that this process is set for basic authentication. You would also notice that there's a new checkbox here which says only accepts HTTP authorization request from the API gateway. And we will talk about this as well. But this process right now can be invoked directly using the CAI endpoint. So let's publish this process and let's try to invoke this process. So I copy the endpoint from here and invoke it. As you would notice, this worked. It printed a message on the screen that says hello world. Now let's look at how do we activate that feature where you only are able to access this API through an OAuth 2.0 client. So let's click on this checkbox. With this, it will only accept HTTP authorization request from API Gateway. Let's save it and publish it. You would notice that there's a new message on the properties detail page which says that it can only accept HTTP authorization request from the API Gateway. But let's try this out. Let's copy this URL and let's invoke it. This time you see an error message on the screen which indicates that this process only accepts requests from the API gateway. So now this API cannot be called through the CAI API endpoint. Let's see how we can call this API using the OAuth 2.0 client. For this, I will go to the API manager. For this, I will go to the API manager. Here you see all the APIs that have been created on this platform. Let's search for our API. So here is the REST endpoint uh, the API proxy from the API manager for this API for the REST interface. Let's create a managed API for this API and let's look at the properties of this API. As you would notice that we have various authentication methods here basic OAuth 2.0 and JOT web token method. Let's choose OAuth 2.0 and save it. Now we need to create an OAuth 2.0 client. For this let's go to policies and the authorization tab here. You would notice there's a button called add OAuth 2.0 client. You can obviously use other clients here, but let's create a new client. You need to first pass the username and password. Then provide the details like the client name. Let's call this as a hello world client. Let's fill in some description. 
At this point, you can make a choice to either use this OAuth 2.0 client for all the API resources or selected APIs or the API groups. Let's restrict this client to the API that we are working on, which is Hello World. So I choose APIs and API group option and only choose Hello World. Let's search for that first. So let's choose it. Click Next. At this point, you see your client ID, client secret and authorization header value. Let's make a note of this. You also notice that there's an OAuth 2.0 server URL. Let's copy the URL as well. Now we have all the information required to call this API using an OAuth 2.0 authentication mechanism. Now let's go to Postman to try this out. As I mentioned before, you have to first get the authentication token which is going to be a JWT token from the token URL. Let's paste it here and let's provide the header here. Like I mentioned, there are two ways of providing the header here. Either you can use the authorization header and pass in as a basic token. For this you will need to use the auth header and send a request. You will notice that it says missing grant type so let's provide the grant type as well. Grant type equal to client credentials and send the request. You will notice that you have the access token which is a JWT token here. You also have the token type which is a bearer token, expiry date and the scope associated with this token. You could have done the same by not passing the authorization header but passing in the client ID and secret as username and password. So let's try that as well. There is a client ID and let's pass the client secret as well. Send the request and you can get back the same thing. A JWT token, token type, expires in and scope. Now let's call the API. So copy the URL, paste here and pass in the required parameters. Now we need to pass the bearer token as authorization header, one that we got from the last API call which is the JWT token here as a bearer token and send the request. And here you get back the response as hello world. For more information you can refer Informatica documentation on the given link. And you can also search for more collateral on Cloud App Integration Community, which is a collaborative user platform for people to share and seek information quickly. You can ask questions on community and have the experts answer those questions. And you can also search for relevant content, for example videos and documents and KBs, running samples and how-tos etc. on this website. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.